All right, so today we're making a Model Magic Dragon Eye, and we're going to uh, learn about all these different kinds of techniques. So on list for building the eye, I'm gonna show you first how to do different colors, so making solid colors or making marbling. Then I'm gonna show you how to make the base of the eye, which is basically a kind of pointed oval. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the eyelid, which is the part that will make this glass bead look like it's behind the eyelid and then all of these details. So for these details, um, we'll go over wrinkles, kind of how to press it in to look like wrinkles. We'll go over coils, which is anything that looks like these little snakes of model magic that you see here. We'll go over twists, which is just twisting two coils together. Um, different kinds of scales, so scales that go outward, so scales that you build and then put onto your model magic, mainly just little balls of model magic that you stick on, or scales to go inward, talking about making holes using either your pencil or a toothpick or something else to create texture. So think of that as out and in. And then the last thing I'll show you are spikes, which are basically just spiky um, little scales. So let's get started. Let's look at your kit first. So the first thing I want you to do is you're gonna have a kit. It's gonna have the stuff inside of it. And then for me, if you're in class with me, you're gonna choose three analogous colors and an eye. So I chose an eye and then I figured out what analogous colors I was gonna use to kind of contrast it. You can either make it match or contrast, that is up to you. Um, this is really very specific, but when you open your Model Magic, um, I want you to do your best to keep the packaging a rectangle. And that's because at the end, if you have extra that you don't wanna to stick together, um, you can wrap it. So cut it open, Try to open it like a bag of potato chips. You may open it like this. Peel the ends so that you have a rectangle for wrapping stuff later. Okay. Um, so once you have your model magic out, we also need to write your name on your bag. Go ahead and flip that over so your bag can be like your working surface. Um, you're gonna cut it into three. So I like to stretch it out a little bit so I can kind of see it a little better. And I'm going to cut it into three parts like that. All right, so now that you have three pieces, um, I'm gonna show you how to marble and then I'm gonna show you how to color. So I'm gonna make my base marbled just for the purpose of what we're doing. Um, so take one of your pieces and I'm going to, I'm gonna color it all the colors. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch it out and I'm going to color some blue here. I'm using the side of my marker so that way it spreads out a lot. Color some purple and color that. Now, these being analogous colors, if I mix it all together completely, it might make a pretty color. Um, if they're not analogous colors or not close enough to each other, um, they might make them look kind of weird. So marbling is when you mix it, but you don't mix it all the way. So you mix it, you see it's starting to turn fun colors. And at a certain point, I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it into a ball. Those are some pretty interesting colors. But that's how you marble. You put a color on it, it can be one color, it can be many colors, and then you don't mix it all the way. So this is gonna be my base. And so I rolled it into a ball squish it down and I want to make an oval. So once I squish it down, I'm going to stretch it into an oval and then I'm not going to make it any thinner than we have our little sketchbooks. I'm trying to make it no thinner than that. So my oval for me, it's like that in my hand for you, it might be a little more like that. So try to judge it but if you keep it that thickness, it should be okay. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do are the eyelids. So that's one third. The next third is gonna be my eyelid. I think that I'm going to do my eyelid. Hmm. Blue and then the rest of it, I'm going to, actually I'm gonna do my bluish purple. So I'm gonna mix this completely to make blue.
I'm gonna add some purple to it. So this one is just mixing solid colors. So you can do this with one color, you could do this with many colors, um, but this time I'm going to mix it until it is not streaky and it is just a single color. So I'm stretching it a little bit and folding it, stretching and folding until the colors are mixed. It's kind of a nice periwinkle lavender color. Um, once I have this, like most things in this, I'm gonna roll into a ball. Once I roll into a ball, I'm gonna press it down. I wanna make a similar shape to this. So I'm gonna stretch it out. Actually, I feel like I'm gonna switch these. I want this one to be my, <laughs> I want this one to be my base. I want this one to be my top. Um, so once you have two similar sized ones, I am now making this my base. I'm gonna stick my eye onto it. And this other one, I'm going to split long ways like this. Then I'm going to put this one as my top lid. Yes, that was a great decision, having this be the, the top because it'd be completely covered. And this one, my bottom lid. And you want to take some time to, you can try to close it a little more or open it, depending on what you want to do. That's how you make your base and your lid. And that's how you use solid colors and marbled colors. So I think the rest of my details are probably going to be solid colors, so this doesn't look as crazy busy. And I'm pinching my ends a little too much. I, I found that when I made it kind of skinny. It was in the last surface area to work on. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is wrinkles. So you have a popsicle stick and a toothpick. You can use pencils or anything else, but I'm gonna add some wrinkles to my edge of my eye just by kind of pressing in lines. You can do this on other things too, but I like to do it right now around the eye so that way it has a kind of a cool, um, kind of squinty, wrinkly thing going on. Okay, coils. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna split it in half and I'm going to make one purple and one pink. Mix it together. I'll show you also how to do extra um, colors too. Stretch and mix. The stretching and mixing is so relaxing sometimes. Okay, so coils can be as simple as just making a little snake and putting it onto your artwork. So I'm gonna make one that just goes below my eye, kind of around my, and I can add more texture to this later. And then I'm gonna make one that goes above my eye, but I'm gonna twist it. So that's one, that's just a coil. You can also like, you know, twist them. You can make little like curves on with them. Oops. Um, and you can also twist them. So I'm gonna take two colors and twist them together. If that goes wrong, <laughs> the twist, you can also just marble it. So um, I'm gonna twist this. And then I can make a coil that goes like that. Looks kinda cool. Um, so we have wrinkles, we have coils. Let's talk about scales that go in and scales that go out. So. I'm going to make some blue so I can do some um, scales that go out. So scales that go out are basically you're adding uh, little balls of, oh, add that in there too, why not? Little balls of the model magic onto your art. So you go ahead and just kind of mix them 
mix a color and then make a bunch of kind of even little balls of Model Magic. You can stick them on like in a row or you can stick them kind of randomly. So this one, I kind of stack them and then this one's kind of random. So this one over here, I'm gonna stack them. So I'm gonna have, just push it on, kind of push one side flatter, overlap it like that. And once they're on, they're on. So make sure you're sticking them where you want them to actually be stuck. If you like consistency, maybe do it all along one whole side. That's up to you. I think I'm gonna do some spikes there. Um, and then there is inward. So outward would be that. Inward would be a variety of different ways. You could um, simply just take a marker and kind of make those holes by coloring the marker. And also make kind of like little indents to have a little bit of a shine to them. Uh, you could do that on your scales that you already made too. They could be outward and inward. Um, and then let me show you some spikes. So spikes can be like most things, you roll them into a ball first. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some white and some blue. And then for the spikes, what I like to do is I take the ball and then I one side kind of coil it. So I roll just one side and it makes a little cone. So watch that again. I have a ball, go around, try to put my finger on only one side of it, roll it back and forth. So I'm squeezing a little bit to make that little, little spike. Oops. Okay. I can also, where did my toothpick go? Um, add some more details to like this I was talking about earlier. Um, so I could take my toothpick and I could make some more wrinkles. Um, you can take other things like a pencil if you don't want color or a pen and you can add like little circles and stuff. More kind of variations of, um, variations of, different kinds of scales. And then I wanna to try to balance things. So I have white up there, I might add white down here. I might <laughs> decide to cut some of this off and try to make something else interesting with it. Um, so try to find balance with your colors and maybe kind of your textures however you want to. And this model magic actually goes a pretty long way. I thought I'd have not a lot of extra, but you know what, I'm gonna show you what to do now if you have extra or if it's the end of class. So let me roll this up, put it on, and now I have extra, but it's also the end of class. Okay. So I told you to keep your paper just in case. So I have some colored model magic and some white model magic left. Um, what I want to do is I basically just want to make little pockets for these. So uh, you could cut this and wrap up your extra pieces so that they don't touch the other ones. Um, but if you have extra that's colored or you don't want to touch the dragon eye now, you can wrap them up and kind of put them at the bottom of your bag. We might be able to get some tape on there. Just gonna face the opening down. And then you're gonna put your dragon eye in there too. We're gonna carefully put them in the box if we're not finished to work on next time. Uh, yeah, I think we'll tape those just to make sure. 
that is our dragon eye. 